Hey guys, how's it going? So I hope you guys enjoyed that spinach salad. I have to say it was incredibly delicious. More than you think a salad would really be. It, it was very good. So I'd recommend making that recipe. Um, I love spinach. We're gonna use some of the rest of the ingredients from that dish just to use up some of our produce. So I know we talked about doing cauliflower with some type of curry. So I'm gonna do like, it's, I'm making this up, but it's gonna be um, cauliflower with some curry paste. I don't have a, like any coconut milk to make into like an actual curry. So, um, that's fine. <laughs> but we're, I have some spinach I wanna use up, onions, uh, bell pepper, lemon. I have some garbanzo beans, the curry paste, tomatoes. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of vegetables in together um, and it's gonna be, gonna top some rice. So it's gonna have like the curry paste in it. I'll use a little bit of water to thin it out um, and we're gonna get some char in the cauliflower. Um, but it's gonna be good. I, I, I don't know, I just wanna utilize what we have. And so if you've been making any of the dishes from the past week or so, um, this is a way to utilize some of the ingredients so you don't feel like you're wasting everything. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. All right, so I know it's a lot of um, already cut into produce and you know Ziploc bags everywhere, but that's okay, that's the reality of the kitchen. Um, so I have, excuse me, so I have our cauliflower right here. I'm gonna cook off some rice. I have some spices, just some cumin and uh, smoked paprika, um, our curry paste. Um, some garlic, scallions, cilantro, spinach, uh, red peppers, the rest of that lemon, onion, carrots, tomatoes, chickpeas. It's just going to be um, a medley of a lot of different ingredients and we might add in some things or take some things out. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to start off. I have some water already boiling. We're going to um, blanch and shock, or I'll probably just blanch, the cauliflower ahead of time. Um, so when we add it to the dish and we get the like little bit of char on it, that it doesn't, um, that it fully cooks. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not even gonna use carrots. I'm gonna save those, ignore those. Um, but what we'll do is we're gonna cut up the onions, the peppers, all of our ingredients first. Uh, well, first we'll cook the rice, but we'll do all that. So then it's easy to just kind of cook everything because the cauliflower will only take a few minutes to blanch. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this. It's I'm making this up, but I'm gonna use techniques of like items that I've made before. So it's kind of gonna be, I don't have a wok, so it's not gonna really be stir fry, but we're gonna like basically saute everything up together. Um, chickpeas are just in there to add a little bit more protein. You don't have to do those. Um, and you could swap this for any vegetables you have. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook off a cup of rice. I rinse the rice beforehand. I don't think I've shown you guys that, but I rinse it till the water goes clear. And then it's gonna get one and a half cups of water. So I'm just gonna measure that out, rinse it, and then we'll start cooking it. While our rice is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare um, all the vegetables and cut them. So we're gonna do um, an, like a small dice on the peppers, small dice on the onion. Um, we're just gonna get some of the cilantro for garnish. We're gonna cut our scallions on a bias like we did yesterday, mince up our garlic, and um, cut our cauliflower into small florets. But I'll go through each one and show you guys, um, but just so you have an idea of what we're gonna do. All right, so we have the rest of our red pepper from the other day, so we're gonna go ahead and dice this. All right, so we have our red pepper dice. Next, we're gonna do the onion. All right, so we have our onion. Next, I forgot I had the tomatoes, so I'm gonna have up the rest of those tomatoes. All right, we have our tomatoes. Now I'm gonna cut up our scallions. All right, we have our scallions. Now our cilantro. All right, we have our cilantro. I like to leave the leaves whole. Next, we're gonna grate the garlic. Also, I realized that the garlic clove I had before was sprouting. I didn't see it until I looked at it, so I apologize. I got a fresh piece of garlic that was from an old head of garlic I had, so I got rid of that, but this one's good. All right, we have our garlic clove. Um, I'm just gonna portion out the spinach, put the lemon in a container, and drain the chickpeas, and then we're gonna do the cauliflower last just because it makes the most mess. All right, so I'm just cutting up our cauliflower, but this is about the size that you're looking for, and we're probably gonna use about half of the head of cauliflower. All right, guys, so I moved all of our ingredients over here to where we're gonna start uh, making the dish. So um, I already have the water is nice and boiling, um, and I have a strainer um, in the sink. So we're gonna go ahead and um, cook our cauliflower for about, we'll do, hmm, let's see, like three, four minutes, just until it's slightly tender. Um, and then right like in the last minute, I'm gonna heat up the pan and let it get hot. And we're gonna strain the cauliflower and immediately um, add it to our pan to get a little bit of char. And then we'll add our peppers and onions. All right, so our cauliflower is in the water. It's been about 30 seconds. I have our pan heating up. All right, so our cauliflower is straining. I actually decided to switch and use this pan because I think I'm gonna need a deeper pan. All right, so I've added our cauliflower. We're gonna let this get a little bit of a char, and I'm actually gonna take it out of the pan after it gets a char and set it aside so we can start to cook down our um, peppers and onions without them burning. 
All right, our cauliflower is getting some nice color. It's been about two minutes. I'm gonna give it about another two minutes and we're gonna set it aside. Right, so we have some nice roasted cauliflower. All right, so I turned down the heat on our pan after we removed the cauliflower and I have our peppers and onions. Um, I'm also gonna add the chickpeas as well and we're gonna let these get a little bit of um, translucency. The chickpeas, a little bit of color is fine. And then we'll go ahead and add our garlic. All right, so these have cooked down nicely. Next I'm actually gonna add our tomatoes and then I'll add our garlic. So we're gonna stir, I just added our tomatoes and now our garlic, so we're gonna stir this up. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is add, um, we're gonna start toasting the spices, but I'm gonna add the cauliflower back to the pot. All right, so our cauliflower is back in. I'm gonna add some cumin, smoked paprika, and about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of the curry paste. All right, so I added about um, a tablespoon of the curry paste and about a half teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of paprika. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach. Our spinach cooked very quickly. Now I'm gonna add, go ahead and add um, some lemon juice and season it with salt. All right, I added enough salt to taste. Um, and then I added a little bit, I actually cut into another lemon because you know, it's me. Um, so this looks great. We're gonna go ahead and plate. The rice is all ready. All right, so I have our rice, our scallions and cilantro ready. We're gonna go ahead and first add the rice. All right, the rice is in. Now we're gonna add our cauliflower mixture. All right, we have our cauliflower. Now we're gonna top with scallions and cilantro. All right, we have our scallions and cilantro. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice and then it's ready to go. All right, guys, it's all ready to go. I think it looks pretty tasty. Um, and this was just basically utilizing what was left over in my fridge, um, but it's a nice vegetarian meal. Um, if you wanted to add coconut milk and make this more of like a stew, you could go ahead. I just didn't have any, um, but yeah, I think it looks great. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I thought it was really simple to make, really easy. You could go ahead and roast the cauliflower if you wanted to. It's just the way that I did it was a lot faster and it has a similar result. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys like the break from the sweets. Um, but tomorrow we probably will do a sweet. I also forgot that we're going to do carbonara. So we still have that. So I might not even make the ricotta and do carbonara or the s'mores bars tomorrow. I haven't decided. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, thank you for helping me get over to 50 subscribers. That's awesome. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good night. Thanks.